Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, we're going to look at an amazing tool which would help us designers validate our concepts in terms of visual hierarchy. So, you know, as designers, we need to identify the areas of a design that are poorly performing so that nothing stops the users from noticing the important parts of a design. And to put this in place, a technology called eye tracking is needed that basically shows how users scan your designs. But the problem is uh, eye tracking is a really expensive and time taking process where you need high definition cameras and uh, different hardwares and stuff like that. And then you find need users to test your designs which is altogether a very expensive and time-taking process and also there are other tools in the market which basically provide heat maps that are not exactly based on eye tracking but even in that case you first need to create your designs then get it developed then insert a tracking script into it and get it tested by users worldwide then you're able to generate some heat maps which you can analyze and improve your designs but again this is a very big time-taking and expensive process however uh, you know to solve this issue uh, we have an amazing tool that uses artificial intelligence to bring these analysis just within a couple of seconds as soon as you just upload it you can do your a b testing and stuff like that just within a couple of seconds and this tool is called as attention insight who is the official sponsor for our today's video so basically attention insight helps you to validate your design concepts for performance during the design stage itself using ai generated attention analytics so to understand this better i'll take you through some uh, analytics on some real design concepts so that you can easily understand how this works and how is this helpful for you as a designer? So without any further ado, let's jump into the screen. So for the demonstration, we'll be using a design from one of our previous videos, which was on personal portfolio design. And this was the output of that video. So what we'll do is we'll use this design and see how we can improve this in terms of visual hierarchy so that we can achieve the end goals. The first thing we got to do is just select the design, go to plugins and search for attention insight on the plugins tab. So you'll be ending up on this particular plugin. So I've already installed it. Just go ahead and install it and then click on run, click on analyze design. And as you can see, the magic by the AI has started in the background but the very first time you come to the plugin you just have to sign up and then log in then you'll have a free trial of certain credits but as this happens uh, let me just take you through some other features so as you can see uh, these are some features and here you can see a demo of how the attention insight shows and some percentage information we'll talk more about this but the thing that i wanted to show here is the accuracy right so the predictive analytics is around 94 percent accurate and this is based on mit's results so it's actually very dependable and this is basically based on 30,000 uh, plus real eye tracking studies so the ai uses all these data and comes up with this prediction so let's get back to figma and see if our results are ready so yes, uh, as you can see, we have the heat map, uh, which is overlaid on the design itself. So the more warmer the color, it means that the user notices that area is much more. So as it gets cooler, it means that the user doesn't notice those regions. So that is how you get to know where the user's side goes at the very first look. And along with that, you also have some optimal clarity score, which basically tells you how clear your image or your design is. But this is very limited information. To understand more about this and, uh, you know, start applying some changes, you you need to get more insights for that just click on this and it basically takes you to the detail screen but let me just go back to the dashboard and explain you all the features that are there here so on the left you basically have the menu items here and on the top you have some extensions so if you're working on any of these tools you can basically install the extension and do the analysis much faster rather than coming onto the website and doing the things you can install the extension and get the results there on the tool itself and then you have some documentation and all those product tools uh, where you can look through and then there's a video feature as well i'll talk more about this later then you have projects so if you're working on a particular project and you want to organize all those designs in it you can start by creating a project or you can do it individual analysis right from here so this is the one that we just did and then also you have comparisons basically for a b testing your designs and things like that we'll talk more about this in a couple of minutes so let me just get back to the home version one that we just uh, applied the analysis on i'll click on it and there you go let me just turn off all these filters right here so this is our basic design that we just uploaded on the attention heat map you see all the attention heat map things on the focus map it basically shows you a view what catches the attention of the user so all the dark areas are where the user's attention doesn't go and all the things that the user sees is basically highlighted here and then you have the percentage of attention so let me just turn on the heat map as well so this is really a very cool feature this basically tells you how much percentage of attention of the user you're able to grab on that particular region to show you a demo of this i'll just draw a rectangle 
triangle around this button here and this is basically our CTA right so this is a primary CTA I'll click on the primary CTA click on calculate there you go it gives you the result that it's 5% uh, basically 5% of the user's attention is going to this part of the design and let me just do the same thing for the rest of the design as well so this is gonna be your image and this one is gonna be your heading and this one is basically gonna be your subheading I suppose yeah this one we can basically call it as uh, probably secondary CTA or you could also type in social media links or things like that and finally you have your menu here so you don't have menu on the list here right so you can just type it as menu and click on calculate and as you can see it tells you the percentage of attention that you're able to grab from the user so if you see the navigation would be really poor because it is only catching 1.6 percent attention of the user so it would be a bit difficult for the user to navigate because they are not able to uh, identify where it is and things like uh, CTA which is really important for me uh, on a particular uh, portfolio website but you can see some recommendations on the left as well right so it gives you uh, some recommendations and insights so for the primary CTA it basically tells you that the average uh, attention is 4% we are at 5% which is actually good but I still want to improve this right and also the navigation I really want to improve it and in terms of image uh, I'm not much concerned but it's still taking 25% so even if a bit reduces on this area and we are able to increase this and this it would be really great so based on this insights let's get back to Figma and try to improve our design so here I'm back on Figma what I'll do is I'll just duplicate this design let's think of some improvements right in terms of uh, menu probably because the image is catching a lot of attention on the right side the user is not able to get a hold of the menu right so what I'll do is I'll take the menu to the left and align it to the left content here and in terms of image uh, I'll probably not change much but I want more attention for this probably there's a lot of content here uh, what I'll do is first thing I think the color is a bit dull so I'll increase the color of this and maybe increase the size as well let me make that 250 let me actually try to put it on the right so let's try something like this and see if it works well so I'll just slightly rotate this yeah this looks good to me let's see how this works out and probably I'll try to increase a bit of a spacing for this as well give it some breathing space and we'll move this a bit to the lower side as well okay I have done my changes and now we basically need to uh, rely on the AI to do some predictions and let us know if this is actually helping me achieve my goal of grabbing more attention of the users towards the CTA and also the menu for proper navigation because if the employer uh, who's looking at my portfolio wants to jump to the resume or contact details they should be easily able to do that so in my assumption this should work out well so let's see if that is really the case or not so I'll just rename this as version 2 let's upload it in a different way the previous way we did was through the plugin so let me just show you the other way as well so I'll go ahead and export it onto my downloads and just save it there so we have it on our downloads let's get back to the app itself go back to dashboard and here we'll add an analysis so I'll create a new analysis so as you can see these are the different type of designs that you can upload and get your results so we are working on desktop that is web design you can also upload marketing materials basically these are web banners video thumbnails and things like that you can also upload mobile websites or applications posters packaging design so this is really good uh, it has a lot of things right so it basically gives you different options but in our case we can go for the desktop and click on upload select the design and it has been uploaded just click on analyze so now in the background it's basically trying to analyze this so once we get the results we'll get to know if it is actually improved the design or we just messed it up so let's wait for it and there you go we have the results the clarity score has increased a bit which basically tells you that the content has some more breathing space and white space now let's draw the percentages and then we'll get to know the actual results that is how we can you know compare things and if you see the focus map you can see that uh, even the menu has got some attention so everything looks good so let me just get back to the percentage of attention and I'll just draw the same things right here we basically need to give the same terms that we use for the version one as well so for this is menu this is heading I'll do the same things I'll just speed this part
So I have done creating uh, rectangles around every uh, object that I want to compare. And as you can see, the CTA has a very good improvement. The primary CTA is at 8% and the menu is also getting 10%, which is really good. So let's go ahead and use the comparison feature and then we'll be able to make our decision based on that. So I'll just go back and in the comparison, I'll create a new one. I'll call this portfolio test. And here you basically need to select the designs, right? So the version one is here and this is our version two. I'll click on compare and and there you go you have some cool insights so these are the bar graphs which basically tell you how much percentage of attention each of the elements are getting so in terms of clarity it's definitely a winner here plus two percent and in terms of cta which was my actual goal to increase this attention towards the cta and this has increased by three percent which clearly tells that this could be a really good design to grab the attention or to achieve my goals and as i mentioned i was not much concerned on the image the attention for the image has reduced drastically and the heading is is getting more attention which is good the subheading has reduced a bit which is not a big concern right then the menu which was actually an important thing for me so that the user is able to navigate properly this has drastically increased plus nine percent so overall i'm pretty happy with the results or if i want i can just go ahead and make some other tweaks and again start the comparison you'll be able to basically compare as many designs as you want and once you're done uh, doing all this you can actually make a decision on which uh, design to go with and in case uh, you want to show your top management why you're going ahead with this particular design so in that cases if i go to this design here there is an option to download a report you can go for an editable one if you want to modify it or if i go for the standard report it basically is generating the report at the back end so you can basically use this report uh, and show your top management that why you went ahead with this decision so let me just open this up for you so as you can see it creates a cool report you can see that it shows a focus map and some questions for the users to you know understand things and the optimal clarity score then how much attention is going and you know how much percentage of attention is going to uh, all the main items and this uh, you know detailed report basically uh, gives some confidence to the upper management as well that why you went ahead with this particular design so I really like this feature as well and apart from that you also have this option of uh, creating attention maps for videos right now this feature is still under development but you can basically upload your video and then after 24 hours they will just send you back the video with the heat maps so this is also something you can try if you're interested in heat map on a video so talking about the pricing and all that stuff uh, there is actually a free plan which gives you a certain number of credits so that you can explore it and check if these insights really help you speed up your design or your design process in your company or wherever you work so then you can make a decision to go for the paid plan or not there are different plans for solo and team there's also enterprise plan if you're working as a company and things like that and I personally feel that this is really very useful it would help your day-to-day -day design work in making decisions in terms of visual hierarchy so that you don't end up uh, creating something which doesn't actually catch the attention of the user so that being said that's all for this video guys as always thanks for watching